Hi students, this is Alex here. Example 4.21. If n factorial plus n minus 1 factorial equal to 30, find the value of n. Now, we n factorial n into n minus 1 factorial. Plus, n minus 1 factorial equal to 30. Now, we n minus 1 factorial common. Now, we have balance on the n plus 1. This is 30. Now, in the side, we have term factor and we n plus 1 and 30. We have 30 and we have 6 into 5. So, we have n minus 1 factorial into n plus 1 is equal to 6 into 5. But, this is 3 factorial. So, n minus 1 factorial into n plus 1 is equal to 3 factorial into 5. We have 3 factorial. Now, we will equate this side with this side. n minus 1 factorial is equal to 3. n is equal to 4. That's why, if you equate this two terms, that's the answer. That's why, n plus 1 is equal to 5. That's why, n is equal to 4. Now, total, n plus 1 is equal to 4. So, this is one method. This is the alternate one. We will try to try the trial and error. So, if n is equal to 1, we will try to substitute this question. We will 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 substitute this question. So, 1 factorial plus 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial. This is total of 1 plus 1, 2 is the answer. 0 factorial is 1. If n is equal to 2, we will get 2 factorial plus 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, this is not equal to 30. This is not equal to 30. That's why we can get it. So, if n is equal to 3, we will get 3 factorial plus 3 minus 1 is 3 factorial. So, we will get 2 factorial plus 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial. So, this is 3 factorial plus 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial. So, this is 6 plus 2. Total is 8 which is not equal to 30. If n is equal to 4, we will get 4 factorial plus 3 factorial. This is 24 plus 6. This is equal to 13. So, if this particular value of n is satisfied, therefore n is equal to 4. We will get 4.